So I took clothespins from the Dollar Tree. And my husband, after he sanded and stained all the frames, he drilled a hole in each side of these to run the jute through. The jute is from Hobby Lobby. Um, the chicken wire is left over from a friend's project. I paid $12 for all the frames on Facebook Marketplace. I thought that was a pretty good deal. And then again, I've got my Dollar Tree clothespins. This was a gift for my sister for Christmas. Actually, our gifts were stacked in it. It was really cute. And I plan to do something seasonal here where you can put um, a small wreath here or you know, spring greenery. I can change this out for the seasons. And up here is the H um, for our last name. That was actually the most expensive thing on the wall. It was about $6. Um, the jute and this little thing here I purchased new at Hobby Lobby. Um, the wall decor was 50% off and then I had a coupon for the jute. So all in all, I've got less than $30 in this project. And if you'll come over here, I'll show you. Um, this frame is exactly the same as the one with the jute rope, but my husband put a frame on the back to attach the chicken wire to because this was too narrow of a frame and then as you can see in here it's just stapled to that frame and then he screwed it on and came up with this so coming back around so um most of these frames were empty when I bought them the small frame with the chicken wire actually had some glass in it it was still a framed picture frame so we took the glass out and then this little square frame here had a counted cross stitch design in it and we just donated that. But I love how this turned out. And then the clothes pins on these three frames are to display my children's artwork, which I don't have any up yet, but we just got this on the wall last night. But I do, I love how this turned out and it was a very inexpensive project, everything except for two pieces, well, three. Most of this, <laughs> most of this was upcycled or thrifted. So I absolutely love this. We have a farmhouse. So let's see, my lovely console table. My husband made that for me at our last house. It is actually, the wood on top is actually reclaimed from a barn on our old property. Um, it matches our dining table that he also made for me. But this was just a really inexpensive, frugal DIY, and I hope you like it. Well, that's about it for today. I hope you enjoyed this very frugal, upcycled DIY. It's gallery wall, um, simply because it's going to be displaying artwork. Um, I really love how it turned out. I loved how everything was thrifted, upcycled, with the exception of a few small pieces. And I love the fact that it cost less than $30 because it didn't hurt the budget at all. This is a very large wall. I was able to fill it up. And until next time, stay frugal, my friends. Bye.